Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fish and Tips. We are going to be reviewing the Ice Runner float suit. I got this suit over a year ago and so I want to give it a review. I already did like a, a first look on this suit. So now that we have some time in it, I want to just do a quick review, kind of showing you guys some of the good and some of the bad. We will start by getting to the good, and we're gonna start with the jacket, in fact. This jacket is comfortable. It's got this uh, little neoprene type of elastic thing, so you don't get snow inside your sleeves, which can really suck. But I really don't use the jacket much, to be honest. It's warm, in fact, it's too warm, and so that's why I don't really use it often, because most of the time I'm just wearing my sweatshirt and my bibs. So I don't have much to say about the jacket aside from it's warm and it's pretty darn comfortable. So now let's get to the bibs. The bibs are also very warm, very comfortable. Although there is one thing about comfort I would like to mention is these straps right here. First of all, they can come loose over time. And by overtime, I mean within a couple hours, you can start to notice that your straps are getting a little bit longer and longer and longer until finally, while you're out on the ice, you have to readjust them. And then the other thing is I find that ends up kind of slipping off my shoulders as time goes on as well. So I have heard that the uh, latest float suit from them has a little part in the back holding the bibs together more so you don't get the slippage on your shoulders. But with the pair I have, it doesn't have that. And so I do have to always uh, kind of re-put the bibs back on my shoulders like that. But otherwise, I mean, it's got some pockets, good amount of pockets. I wish that these pockets right here had zippers on them uh, because otherwise I don't really use them because stuff is probably going to fall out of them otherwise. So like I'll use these pockets to put like my keys in while I'm at the car getting my stuff out. But otherwise I mainly use these pockets right here and then you have a zipper pocket right there as well. These ones are Velcro. Keep my phone, my keys, wallet, whatever in my pockets there. So, so now that we've uh, kind of just gone back over it, kind of a refresher from the previous video from last year, I do want to talk about some of the issues I've had with this suit as far as the quality goes. So with the bibs, you can see right there, the seam has split open and the insulation is showing right there. So that's been an issue in a couple spots where the seams have started to open up as well as on the bottom of my pants. On my left one, the seam has opened up as well to show the insulation just like up top. And I believe that one is from, it has this little kind of a uh, rubbery, windbreakery type uh, cuff on the bottom. And when you open that up, pull it open like that, if you're not careful, it rips. So right there, you can see the insulation again, the seam has ripped open. And then the same thing on the other side, except the uh, seam has not ripped open to the point where the uh, inside insulation has been showing. It's just that that cuff has started to rip off on it. So I'm not very pleased with that, but it's definitely lasting me two seasons. I believe when I bought this suit, I bought it for about 160 bucks for the bibs and the jacket as a pair. So that's still not a bad price at all. I would say it's worth the money because it's a very warm set. It's comfortable to wear aside from having to readjust these, but again, they have supposedly corrected the issue with their uh, suits that came out uh, in 2020, 
2020 slash 2021 season. So that might not be as much of an issue, but definitely the seams on the suit have been a little bit of an issue on them. I'm just not very impressed with that. But if you really need a suit that's gonna last you two, three years, depending on how much you ice fish and how rough you are on your gear, this suit's definitely going to last you that amount of time and for a fairly good price too as well. So yeah, I guess that's kind of just my review on it. The It's warm, it's comfortable, quality is not the best, but it's such a cheap float suit. When you compare it to the, say, Striker suits or Clam or Eskimo, any of the other like big name float suits, this suit is actually pretty, pretty good for the price compared to them. So if you just need a suit real quick for the season, two season, three seasons maybe, I'd say it's worth it. Go ahead and pick one out, but just know that the quality is not the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. I try to do as many of these videos I, as I can. It's just that recently I bought the, this house that Right now I'm in the basement, so we've been doing lots of work on that. I have not had much time to do videos. And then as well, my GoPro has been acting up in the cold to where it hasn't been wanting to record. So I have not been getting much footage for like the fishing block sort of videos. But that being said, I do have videos coming of me out on the lake fishing. We got some pipe fishing coming out little bit of perch fishing. We got some underwater video of catching perch and walleye and hooking some crappie and smallmouth as well. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a like if you thought that it was useful. Uh, if you have any suggestions for things that you want me to talk about with this suit or anything else that I review, just leave those comments below the video. I answer them all the time. As soon as they come in, I answer them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.